Welcome back, everyone, to another edition of Rudy's Rant. Power by Come On Now, the podcast. I am your host, Rudy Rodriguez Shomont, and I am in a good-ass mood. The Yankees just won game three over the Kansas City Royals, three to two, and we are up two to one in this series and looking to close this bad boy out tomorrow, Thursday night in Kansas City. Garrett Cole, get the job done. But this is Rudy Rodriguez Shomont from Come On Now, the podcast, where facts are over feelings. You know my facts, my facts, my facts, my facts. Guess who's competing with the New York Yankees and Kansas City Royals tomorrow night? The WNBA Finals. Finals. New York Liberty hosting the Minnesota Lynx. I tells you, I tells you, I tells you. At least the game is on ESPN. At least. We know it won't draw flies in terms of TV ratings. But at least it got graduated and upgraded and promoted from ESPN2 to ESPN, the original. This is the series the WNBA dreaded having. The fans in Minnesota who don't care... (laughs) Clearly, don't care because they had the lower bowl only until the WNBA finals, which I did see. They have finally opened the upper deck in Minnesota in the Target Center. Will it sell out? I would bet not, but who knows? Maybe people will care now. They sure as shit didn't care when they were putting in 8,500 in the semis in the lower bowl. So you have the team of people who don't care. Now, I hope Minnesota wins. Just keeping it real. I hope Minnesota wins. Not I don't like their coach, but I like I like Nafisi Collier. This is the series of the white privileged Sabrina Ionesco and Brianna Stewart versus a lot of white girls from Minnesota. And then you have Kayla McBride who's mixed, and Nafisa Collier, who is, as my boy Ben Daniel said, she has a normal family, a nor- a, a traditional family per se, i.e. a husband. This is completely the opposite of what the WNBA wants. WA wants wants the woke community up in arms. They wanted Connecticut, and they wanted Vegas. They wanted eye gouger, yellow hair, three layers of extra makeup, eyelashes, pants tucked into your drawers, couples that are dating on the same team. That's what they wanted. All those folks who are such big supporters of Asia. I wonder how many of them are actually going to watch this on TV. This will not crack a million. If it does, I'll say I'm wrong. I would be absolutely shocked if this series cracked a million a million viewers in any game. Right now, in New York. New York, New York. New York City! They finished that series Sunday. Today's Wednesday. So what do we have to show you? Sorry. Oopsie doopsie. That's the one. We have a lot of standard tickets available. I mean, they're all upper deck, but 205, 211. These are all standard. These are not, these are not resales. This is all the 200 level. Prices go up to $73. These are all standard, as you can see, standard tickets. These are, these are regular tickets. They have not sold out in the Barclays. 
I'm shocked. I actually really thought they'd sell out this this game. I thought they'd sell out the Barclays. I said that when I was talking when we are when I was on with Ben Ben Daniel of the Ben Daniel podcast for Colin Smith's Faye. I I I thought they'd sell out. Oh, I'm sorry. We're here in the lower level now. That is 16. That's right here where my arrow is. It costs $159. God, dog. I sit the equivalent of right here for Miami Heat games, which is row nine, right here. The tickets for the finals face value were, if I recall correctly, about $700 a ticket. Face value, retail. 400% more. And that's face value. Aftermarket, I sold my tickets for, I sold the game for $1,800 a ticket. $1,800, almost three times. And I probably could have sold them for more. Yeah, this is a row section seven. Section seven is right here. Section 23, 24, VIP. Bro, come on. VIP, that's right here. VIP 25, that's right here. Bro, like VIP 8, VIP 7, VIP 9, right here. Try right behind the bench. These are expensive, naturally. VIP 25, 24. You have a lot of availability right now. A lot. You know what that means? That means, and these are all individuals, I think, for the most part. I don't know if these are two. Let's see if they have pairs. Do they have pairs? They got pairs. They do have pairs. So it's not just one. (laughs) How far down do we go? Yeah, they got plenty. Now let's flip it and put verified resale. That shows this is on Ticketmaster. This is their broke. This is who the Liberty use. Let's go one ticket. Remember what it costs to sit in the upper deck. 211. 211, that's right here. That ticket face value right now is $55. Do you recall? It's 55 bucks. Let's go back and look. Standard. Forty-nine thirty. I'm sorry. Forty-nine thirty. So they are selling tickets already for the finals. Verified resale on Ticketmaster for less than face value. Yeah, there's some that are above it, and they're hoping and they're praying, but it's not looking good. It's not looking good. And here it gets better. This is Vivid Seats. $32. This is the WNBA Finals. Who's going to go buy the face value tickets for $50 plus fees when I can go to Vivid and get them for 30 fucking bucks? 40 I mean, look, look at this. This is $46, $49. Like, come on, come on. What's the lowest I can get? The lower level, sixty bucks. Let's not. That's that's at the mid level. Let's look in the. Let's find the lower level. Lower level one, seventy six dollars. This is the finals. You know what happened? All the New Yorkers were, were, were reminded the Yankees are playing tomorrow. The Yankees are playing. Yankees. They're lucky the Mets aren't playing too. The Mets advanced today, by the way, so they won't play tomorrow. But they advanced. Now you got to worry about competing with the Yankees potentially and the Mets, the Yankees now, and potentially the Yankees and the Mets next week for ratings. In the background, I got the Dodgers and the Padres on right now. It's game four. Bro, 
Bro. Now we're on StubHub. 36 bucks. Look at these prices. They people are losing their shirts on these tickets. They're losing their shirts. I like StubHub's thing. It actually shows you where you're actually really sitting with a photo. That's pretty cool. I haven't used StubHub in quite some time. I typically go on Vivid or SeatGeek or one of these other sites. I actually like the, the photo component. But this is bananas, man. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. 88 bucks. 88, I mean, 90, 91, $67. Folks, 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 folks. These tickets don't sell. They don't sell. They do not sell. And now they're competing with the Yankees tomorrow night. Well, Thursday night. By the time you see it, it's probably tonight. <laughs> Both games start at 8 o'clock. Oh, my God. They should have Caitlin Clark there. They should invite Caitlin Clark, give her her MVP trophy at halftime, promote it, as we talked about last week. They should do that either tonight or Sunday, but they should do that. I bet they should do it every single game. They should bring her to every game. A couple of highs is going to – if they break 800,000 viewers, I'd be I'd be stunned. I, said, I think I said 700. 700 would surprise me. I'd be impressed. But you're not going to get more viewers on this over Yankees baseball. Are you kidding me? People are going to get rid of their tickets and put, it's pump. It's dumped the tickets now. They don't want them. But it doesn't matter because they still have they still have regular tickets available. At Ticketmaster standard standard recent standard standard retail. Anyhow, what are your thoughts of this? What are your thoughts of these ticket prices? How they continue to be absolutely terrible. But they're going to sit here and tell you, and you think 32 bucks gets you into an NBA Finals game? Do you know what it costs to get into an NBA Finals game for standing room tickets? The Miami Heat have standing room areas. Those standing room tickets cost 300 bucks to stand on the 400 level on the roof. And you might not even be able to see from where you're standing. It's literally a corner on each corner of each of the corners. And they have some wire that's high enough that you're not going to fall over. It's basically a platform. And you're just standing. And there, there's a lot. I mean, it ends up being just a, a mosh of people. So if you're in the back of the standing room group, you can't see the court. You can't see anything. It's, I, I stood there just in the past when I was younger. I was like, this is crazy. Who does this? Who does this? Actually, I'm sorry. No, I didn't see that. I had tickets that were really, really high when I was younger, and I saw them standing because I'm like, who's doing this? I, who, I mean, I had friends that did it, and it's like, like, it's awful. You got to get there mad early, too, to have a, a standing a standing spot. And you better not go take a leak because you'll lose your spot. Shit. WNBA, where they tell you that the people love it and are coming to see it. Not unless it's Kaitlyn Clark. That's all I got. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Pound that like button, share, subscribe, and also make sure you hit up Rudy's Rant. Rudy's Rant. That's our new a new page I have. Subscribe there as well. I appreciate you. Facts over feelings, baby. Come on now.